Hey everyone, Andrew here from The Investor's Way and welcome to Woody's Weekly Wisdom episode number 35 as I double check and today it's probably going to be a pretty quick one but I just wanted to have a little bit of a chuckle with you uh, this week about this headline, the Australian share market rallies after reaching 2023 low. So if you've been playing along and you listened to my Facebook Live earlier this week, you will have seen me talking about the October effect. And what that is, in case you didn't listen along or didn't have a chance, the October effect is where the ASX and world stock markets tend to have their worst month of the year in October. doesn't happen every year, but it is um, statistically more often and more common that October is a down month for the stock market. And sure enough, uh, the, most of the markets in the world were down in October by as much as 4%. So it's interesting, like always, to take a look at these uh, reactive um, headlines that come about as, a, as the end of the trading day happens. And here we have it, the markets rallied. So in Australia, we're into the second day of the month of November, and we've had two significant uh, up days since the end of October. So it just shows you the folly of getting all tied up in the day-to-day -day news and uh, headlines when it comes to the stock market, because it does what it wants to do. And like I always say to people, when the market drops by something like 4% in the month, that is opportunity because already in the first two days of November, the market has almost recouped all of those losses. Not, not all of them, but it's really uh, recouped a large chunk of them. So it's always interesting to, to read these articles and see uh, journalists pin it on something. So at the moment, they're pinning it on the fact that the US didn't increase their interest rates. So suddenly the market decided it was a good thing and went out and uh, everyone was buying. And I'm pretty sure the mums and dads around the world were not that um, yeah, impacted by what the US interest rate decision was. But that's what it was all about. So they're, they're suggesting the markets went out there uh, and responded to the good news even though the Federal Reserve said they might increase rates in December. Um, the fact that they didn't in November suddenly buoyed all the traders and the, you know, the, the markets to, to go on a bit of a tear. And so this article is just talking about all the sectors that are up. You know, most of the sectors, nine out of 11 ending higher uh, and you know, all the different individual stocks. So I don't want to get too much into what individual stocks did or you know, why, because most of the time it's you know, just made up stuff. But the interesting thing is just to, you know, in a week where I've been talking about how to, how to respond and react when the market has these down months, and you know, I was saying to people, you should take it as an opportunity to get in. And sure enough, the first two days of November and the market's on the way up again. Now, that's not to brag or not even to say that it's, it could fall tomorrow. It could very well do that. But um, it's just a real strong demonstration of how uh, markets have a, a really strong history of repeating what they've done in the past. And that's, that's why there's an entire industry of people who study charts to see what, uh, you know, prices and markets have done in the past because we know that as humans we repeat what we've done in the past and stock markets are a very good example of that particularly if you're someone who studies charts and studies you know what they do at certain points and all that type of stuff uh, there's a long long dark art about it all uh, and that's not necessarily the point of this article but it is to say that we do have a, a history of repeating ourselves and the stock markets are no different. You know, they're driven by human behavior and we, you know, we have a tendency to repeat ourselves like I've just done. So basically this article is just confirmation that what I said earlier in the week and what I've been talking about for most of the week is that when the markets are having down moments, it's not a time to panic. It's a time to react with action and take advantage of the the decreasing prices particularly if you're uh, you know investing in index tracking etfs it's a beautiful time to get in and top up your holdings at these lower prices and lo and behold a few days later you're already in some good profit so 
always, always, always be careful about what the headlines are saying. So in this case, yeah, it's it's not overly alarmist, but it's you know the market rallies after reaching the two two thousand and twenty three low. Uh, so it's had a bit of a rally, and yeah, I do I do think that uh, through the rest of this week we're going to see maybe a bit more subdued. Uh, markets, but uh, probably still looking to increase a little. Um, and then potentially we start the Christmas rally or the Santa Claus rally, which I talked about earlier this week as well, um, where the markets are now looking to help the fund managers to present, pardon me, <coughs> to present um, good results for the year end. And so we do tend to see a bit of a, a rally towards the end of the year so that uh, the marketing for next year can be nice and strong off the back of you know, whatever the results were for the current year. And so they, they want to buy up the market so that um, those percentages and results look better so that they can then put them in the glossy brochures next year to get people to invest with those fund managers. So that's how it all works. Um, it's a little bit of a cynical approach, but it's just reality. And yeah, you know, again, just wanted to, given yeah you know, this uh, headline came out today, and I'd been talking about this effect all week, the October effect that is. I thought it was a really good thing to just round out the week with a confirmation of what we know, and that is that markets go up and down. And if October has been a down month, we're pretty much certain that November, December are going to be up months. So not guaranteed, but that's generally and statistically what's happened in the past. So I'm happy to play the numbers, play the statistics, take advantage of the down months, and uh, add to my portfolio and you should be doing the same so if you're watching on youtube hit the subscribe subscribe button and the little bell to be notified if you're watching on facebook give us a like share comment so that more people can get these weekly wisdoms and i'll see you again next week for another woody's weekly wisdom cheers